teams for the visiting Falcons. They are coached by Brooke Settle and Stacy Irvin. Their players are number one, Charlie Reed. Number two, Brooklyn Maldonado. Number three, Lindsey Cree. Number four, McKenna Kupka. Number five, Aubrey Kupka. Number six, McKenna Locke. Number seven, Lauren Lowenbach. Number 10, Kirsten Settle. Number 11, Lily Ratona Rodriguez. Number 12, Zoe Corboy. Number 13, Allie Strickland. Number 14, Georgia Grady. Number 16, Claire Scary. Number 22, Addie Gorg. Number 99, Ashley Heflin. And double zero, Maria. Tonight's contest is being played under Virginia High School League rules. All spectators are expected to demonstrate good sportsmanship towards players, coaches, and officials. Spectators who demonstrate unsportsmanlike behaviors will be removed from the field. Spectators are to stay off of the field during the game. Do not leave them open. They're going to look for each other, okay? That's their passing shooting range, right? Play your game. Good luck, ladies. Go early, all right? Go out there and play. Falcons were winners against EV 8 to 4 in their first contest. Yeah, Addie. We're pretty much at ground level here. We don't have the benefit of a stadium, so Falk gear works into the circle. Eastern View's got a couple of dangerous athletes. Number 20 right here handling the ball. We'll keep an eye on her today. She gets the football. And they did get four goals against Falk here, so they're not like they're not. Great pass, Charlie. All right. Rodriguez with the outlet. This will be Locke. And they've dedicated this game to Mr. Kellican. Falkier's principal. You'll see the Falcon field hockey sticks with a Mr. K on it. This is Bodart, the exchange student from Belgium. Back to Reed. Eastern view on the attack. Yeah. 
Bodart working the left sideline. And she got hacked. She's wearing number eight rather than her usual number nine. Settle with a well disguised pull. Gorg. That catches a foot and a big drive and a Settle takes on a defensive role today as a center defensive back. Maldonado out of the lineup. Nice passing. Gorg, right up the middle. Settle with nice stick skills. Eastern View with their first penalty corner. Partially blocked. That'll be coming out Falk here. And a good release. And Falk here good on the counter attack. Heads to Bodart. This will be Kirsten Settle. Lock the steal. Number five, trying to work inside. Brady with the steal. Lock working the right sideline. And she'll try to cross. 445 remaining in this first quarter.
Eflin with two successive saves. Rodriguez with the clear to lock. Evades two tacklers. Looking for her cross. Gets it. Flynn. Clear scaring gets the starting call today. A lot of back and forth in this first period. Both teams showing offensive punch. Lock this time works on to the left side. Here's got their first corner. This will be Rodriguez. Good send. Drive, oh, and deflected. Scaring. Into the first quarter, no score. We're here in Culpeper, Virginia at Eastern View High School. Pretty even contest in this first quarter as we begin the second. Heflin with some strong saves. So that'll be coming out Falk here. Poor boy with a good clear. Switching fields, looking for you know who. This will be Locke. You get the touch. They got her out of position. And that might get them a penalty corner, and it does. Now, Falkier has cheated up their defensive back, so they better be careful here if they get a turnover. And that's what they didn't want. And now, 
Now Falkir is in trouble. Oh, and a stop by Grady. That was pretty critical right there. Eastern View does not play like a team with a losing record. They've got some real high skill players. And they'll get one more chance at it. Reed stays with it. They can't get a clear shot. Good play by Settle and Bodart on the sideline. And another save. The second one gets through off the rebound and EV is up one to nothing. Last time these two teams played, it was a 4-4 tie until about the third period, and then Falkir stretched it out and got wound up with an 8-4 victory, but... Lock. Evading tacklers. Looking for an opportunity into the circle. Brings it in herself. Penalty corner, Falkier. And a good send. And a push. And a shot. And Falkier ties this up. That looked like Kirsten Settle, and it was. Number 10. Ties it all up. All tied, all square. Now. And a good send. And they're out on the top of the circle. Heflin with a... That's where Falkir gets in trouble. Oh, man. It, EV comes right back. All right. Good stop by Reed. That should stay Falkir ball. No, I'm wrong. <laughs> Eastern View's been breaking down Falkir in the middle. Straight at them. Settle.
Heflin with a save. Kamarka, excuse me, Kamarka. You got platooning goalies. You gotta keep track of everything. Lock on the right sideline this time. Makes it look easy, but it isn't. Just gets around the defenders. Just over four minutes left in this second quarter. Falcons trailing two to one. Eastern View is getting multiple shots on the Falkier goalie. Corboy with an aggressive defensive play there. Eastern View's been getting good penetrating drives. Falkier more with a ball carrier offense and shorter passes. Lock goes down. And they got Falkier on their heels. Winding down to one minute as we go to the half. Falkier would like to get a penalty corner here. Bodart tried to make a play. She's dangerous. Big clear by Kamarka. And we're just about out of time here. Okay, second half. Settle was not happy in the huddle. Let's see if the Falcons will respond here. Lily Rodriguez finds Kupka up the right sideline. Sideways passes. I think that caught Gorg's foot.
Eastern is using their drives effectively. We'll probably see a little bit more mix of drives from Block. Good play by Settle. This referee's whistle is going to hold up. He's using it quite a bit. Falcons have got to get their offense untracked. And they're using a bunch of pushes that are not really getting the job done. That'll be fuck your ball, not fuck your ball. Yeah. Need a cross there. All right, McKenna will cross. Nice. Is that work? So Locke gets sent to the bench. Actually, that was Bodart. Falkier's got two players in penalty status. Good individual. Hey, okay, Cree is out of the penalty box. This referee is hell bent on keeping it full, too. Gorg. Right in where they want to be. Settle has called a timeout. Yeah, 
Score by Eastern. Why? Why would we do that? We want to take a shot. Come on, Falcons! Go, Addy! Go, Addy! Nice, Pearson! Go, Red! Come on, Falcons! Georgia! Nice! You got it, Georgia! Keep working, Georgia! Penalty corner, Eastern View. Lock is back in the game. Let's go. Get 
Georgia. Get in there. Nice. This is Claire Scaring. Falcons will need a goal early in this period to make something out of this game. Come on, Falcons! Get it, Falcons! Go, Georgia! Get it, Falcons! Go, Georgia! Get it, Georgia! Get it, Georgia! Get it! Get it out! Saved by Camarca. I just got to say, I've not ever seen one official do so much to determine the outcome of a game as I've seen here today. And I've filmed over 2,000 field hockey games in my career. <laughs> Sorry, 200, but it seems like 2,000 today. Today especially.
And Locke has basically played her game no different than she's played all her games. And yet you would think she's some kind of satanic person out there in terms of the ref. Be Kirsten Settle. Nice Scaring shifts fields. Here's go, got, go, 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 gotta get the ball. They gotta get the ball into the hands of our ball carrier. Under three minutes remaining. Falkir knows what they need to do. Marco with the clear. Let's go! 
Falkier's got to get up. Girls, get back. Get back, get back. Go! 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 And Eastern View answers back. Go, Canada! Crash, crash, crash! We're gonna see this. Yes, follow it! Keep working! Oh my god! That was not. I had close up, that was not on her feet. Thank you. 